Hi there. Um, in our last episode, we took a look at two saturation techniques or um, increasing saturation in your images with two different techniques, very basic ones, but uh, they're the beginning of using a saturation dial in DaVinci Resolve version 12. In this one, we're going to take a look at two other techniques that are a little bit more advanced. So let's take a look. First of all, let me go ahead and delete that. And uh, we're back just to the correction node here. And I'm going to create another node and call this one saturation. And I am going to click here in the RGB mixer on the left lower side of my panels here. And I'm going to increase, we have uh, three mixers here. We have the red output, green and blue, for each one of the channels. And I'm going to increase each one of the outputs for the corresponding channel. So in the green, I'm increasing the green. In the red, I'm increasing the red. And in the blue, I'm increasing the blue. And as you can see, the saturation of my image has consistently increased in all my image. Uh, of course, once again, I can tone that down by uh, modifying my gain. All right. So, as you can see, uh, I can increase or decrease the amount of extra saturation that I'm adding to my image. So that's technique number three. So now, let's take a look at a more complex technique. Um, that involves the use of uh, a different color space, changing to lab color space. Um, there are different ways of obviously achieving this, but what I'm going to be is I'm going to uh, teach you the more complex way so that, um, so that you know how to get to the more complex side of things and then you can tone it down to uh, make it simpler for you. So the first thing is create just a single node here that is going to uh, help us do the split. I'm going to call it split. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to really be doing anything in this node. I'm going to create another one here. Put here. I'm going to call this one Luma. And then I am to create another node here to the bottom. And I am going to call this one. Um, sorry, I'm actually deleting this. Should have done it with the one at the top. So I'm going to be calling this one the crew. And uh, basically, one of the top Luma, then layer mixer node uh, in add composite mode, and then this one is the chroma. Um, I'm going to create another corrector mode here. This one I'm going to call uh, color. And then in between this ones, I'm going to be creating my two nodes. All right. This one I'm going to change to lab. A and this one to lab B. Uh, it's going to be parallel and then this one is going to be. Excellent. So layer mixer node here at the end. The layer mixer node is in composite mode add. Then we have the Luma here at the top. Uh, so the split uh, is sending information, luminosity information to the Luma channel here and then color information down here. We're going to grab all the information from the node here, uh, all information meaning Luma and Chroma information because it's it's feeding both channels here. Uh, and then with this information, then we're going to pass it to the Chroma, get rid of our luminosity information in the Chroma node, and then pass it to the layer mixer node after the fact. 